Something unprecedented just occurred in Mecca, and the world is terrified. Flash floods have transformed the sacred paths of Saudi Arabia, engulfing Mecca in heavy rainfall. Imagine the holy city submerged, disrupting worship, displacing pilgrims, locals, and even animals, with properties facing destruction. The catastrophic aftermath has everyone asking, what happened? So let's dive into today's video to know the mystery behind this shocking event. In Saudi Arabia, home to Islam's revered cities Mecca and Medina, the climate has become a topic of increasing concern. This region, drawing millions of Muslims annually for the Hajj pilgrimage, has been grappling with various climate challenges. From severe droughts, high temperatures and extreme dry conditions to air pollution and rising water levels leading to haunting flash floods, each issue comes with its own set of consequences. For context, let's delve into the factors that have shaped Saudi Arabia's weather patterns over time. The country's geography significantly influences its climate. Predominantly arid, Saudi Arabia features vast desert areas like the Rub al Khali, also known as the Empty Quarter, one of the world's largest sand deserts. Additionally, the country boasts an extensive coastline along the Red Sea to the west and the Arabian Gulf to the east. These coastal regions are pivotal in shaping the nation's weather patterns, diverse climate zones and weather extremes. And if we talk about the weather, Saudi Arabia's desert climate is marked by extremes. Daytime temperatures soar to scorching highs, while nighttime temperatures plummet. Rainfall is scarce, and sandstorms are not uncommon. The country's climate can be categorized into two main regions, the coastal areas along the Red Sea and the Arabian Gulf, and the interior regions. Coastal areas like Jeddah and Jizan experience a more moderate climate due to their proximity to the sea, with higher humidity levels and milder temperatures. In contrast, interior regions such as Riyadh and al Qasim endure harsh desert conditions. Summers in these areas are blisteringly hot, with temperatures often exceeding 45 degrees Celsius, and rain is a rarity. Winters, though colder at night, bring relatively mild daytime temperatures. Saudi Arabia's climate is further influenced by sandstorms, dust storms, and occasional heavy rainfall leading to flash floods. Dust storms, common during the spring and autumn transitional seasons, reduce visibility and disrupt daily activities. Sporadic but intense rainfall, particularly in winter, can result in sudden and powerful flash floods, posing risks to infrastructure. Climate Impact on Health and Energy Resources In addition to the challenges posed by floods, Saudi Arabia faces other significant consequences of its climate patterns. The aridity of the land increases the risk of scorching heat waves, which can be harmful to people's health. High temperatures combined with low humidity during the hottest months can lead to heat-related illnesses and discomfort. Moreover, the demand for cooling systems puts strain on the country's energy resources. Recent times have witnessed unusual weather patterns, such as reports of snowfall in the northwestern parts of the country, an occurrence that has sparked discussions about the potential impact of global climate change on Saudi Arabia's weather. While Saudi Arabia is often associated with arid landscapes, the persistent issue of flooding has been unexpected and alarming. The country's high frequency of floods is surprising, considering the majority of its land is characterized by vast arid territories. Historical flood patterns reveal significant events, such as the worst flood in half a century in November 1985. Heavy rainfall in the country's northwestern regions led to extensive flooding, particularly in Jeddah, with streets submerged in water over a meter deep. The flooding resulted in a standstill for three days, widespread destruction, loss of lives, and significant damage to property and infrastructure. In 2009, another catastrophic flood hit Jeddah, caused by unusually heavy rainfall leading to flash floods that overwhelmed the city's infrastructure. Inadequate drainage systems and the encroachment upon natural water channels due to rapid urbanization exacerbated the impact, resulting in devastating consequences. The year 2010 witnessed another flooding incident, though not as severe as 2009, causing significant damage to affected areas. The flooding trend continued in 2011 when heavy rainfall persisted for three consecutive days, leading to widespread floods, disruptions, and tragic loss of lives. 
Subsequent studies revealed that the interaction between natural weather patterns, urban development, and inadequate drainage infrastructure contributed to the severity of these flooding incidents. Inadequate urban planning encroached upon natural water channels, compromising their flow and capacity to handle heavy rainfall. The disheartening floods in Jeddah in 2015 were part of a distressing series that had been occurring since 2009. Subsequent floods in 2010 and 2011 raised concerns about the recurring nature of these events. A systematic review of emergency planning for flash flood responses in Saudi Arabia was conducted in response. The aim was to assess the effectiveness of emergency plans, using the flash floods in Jeddah in 2009 and 2011 as case studies. The results highlighted the need for improved strategies to mitigate the frequency and impact of flooding. The August 2023 Flooding and Its Causes After a period of respite, tragedy struck again in August 2023, as distressing videos circulated on social media showing flooded roads and stranded vehicles. The most affected area was the mosque environment, leading authorities to temporarily halt prayers at the Aji Mosque for necessary maintenance work. The causes of this flooding were attributed to a combination of natural and human factors. Reports from reputable sources such as the World Meteorological Organization, WMO, and the National Center for Environmental Prediction, NCE, indicated that the flooding resulted from intense and prolonged rainfall. Broader climatic conditions and atmospheric factors favored the occurrence of heavy precipitation in the affected regions. Urban areas faced challenges due to impermeable surfaces like concrete and asphalt, preventing water from seeping into the ground. Moreover, insufficient maintenance of drainage channels and ditches further hindered water flow, resulting in localized flooding and inundation. The consequences of the flooding extended beyond human impact to include effects on the local animal population. Floods disrupted natural habitats, destroying critical areas like nesting sites, food supplies, and shelter for animals. This forced animals to search for resources in new locations, leading to heightened competition, conflicts, and increased predation risk. Animals faced drowning, injuries, or displacement, with those not adapted to aquatic environments suffering fatalities. Floodwaters carry debris and pollutants, posing health risks to animals and potentially causing illness or poisoning. Wildlife conservation faced long-term implications, including habitat destruction, population displacement, and potential population numbers and genetic diversity declines. The floods also disrupted the food chain and resource availability for animals. Aquatic species experience changes in water quality and nutrient availability, affecting their survival and reproductive success. Terrestrial animals found their food sources submerged or washed away, leading to scarcity and the risk of malnutrition. Human Contributions to Flooding Humans play a significant role in the occurrence of floods in Saudi Arabia, both intentionally and unintentionally. The rapid expansion of cities and infrastructure, with impermeable surfaces like roads and buildings, prevents rainwater from seeping into the ground, leading to increased surface runoff. Inadequate urban planning and development can contribute to flooding as cities expand without considering flood risks or implementing proper stormwater management measures. Poorly managed construction practices, improper waste disposal, and human-induced climate change also alter precipitation patterns and increase the likelihood of flooding. Addressing the recurring floods requires a multifaceted approach to mitigate their impact and prevent future occurrences. Establishing robust flood management and early warning systems is crucial, utilizing advanced technology and real-time data to predict and issue timely warnings. Strategic urban planning and infrastructure development are vital in managing flood risks, including proper drainage systems, flood barriers, and zoning regulations. Green infrastructure, such as porous pavements and green spaces, helps absorb excess water during heavy rainfall, reducing the chances of flooding. Public awareness campaigns and community engagement are significant, educating the population about flood risks and emergency preparedness. Proactive ecosystem restoration and conservation efforts, such as preserving wetlands, restoring riverbanks and reforestation, contribute to flood mitigation by regulating water flow, reducing erosion, and enhancing natural resilience. Investing in resilient infrastructure is crucial, retrofitting existing buildings to be flood-resistant and integrating resilient design standards into new projects. 
Enhancing coordination among governmental agencies responsible for disaster management, water resources, urban planning, and environmental conservation is important. Collaboration and sharing of information across sectors enable a more comprehensive approach to flood risk reduction. International cooperation and knowledge exchange provide valuable insights, and collaboration with international organizations and experts facilitates access to expertise and financial support. Research and innovation are key components of investing in scientific research on hydrology, climate modeling, and sustainable water management. This leads to innovative approaches to understanding and addressing flood risks. Embracing technological advancements like remote sensing and artificial intelligence enhances flood forecasting and effective water resource management. So what do you think of the terrifying thing in Mecca? Comment below and subscribe for more.